Okay, um, this is going to be a, just a very brief introduction to kind of the some of the more important concepts we're going to see in section 4.3, um, which is all about the unit circle. And I'm told you guys did some of this stuff uh, last year, but my assumption is going to be that you're seeing it for the first time. That's how I'm going to teach it to you, okay? Um, I need you to know what the standard position of angles is. I need you to know that we consider the positive X axis to be an angle of zero. So if they ask you to draw an angle in a standard position, a zero degree angle, you're gonna draw it right there. Whether it's radians or degrees, an angle of zero is gonna be on your positive X axis. And if you're gonna make an angle that's a positive angle, it should rotate in the counterclockwise direction towards the Y axis initially. Negative angles rotate in the clockwise direction. Have you guys seen this before? Oh, and that makes me happy. So we are going to sketch on this axis over here a few angles. And I'm going to pause here for a second because I see some people writing furiously to catch up with me. So. So while you guys are getting stuff copied down on um, for those that are finished, I got a couple questions for you. Did you talk about coterminal angles last year? How we can make a certain angle and write it as both a positive and a negative? Okay, we did see that. So that's kind of the big thing I wanna introduce you to, as well as the very basics of the unit circle, the all students take calculus thing. So, Right here, it is trying to be, yeah, it will be when we scooch it up. So positive angles are counterclockwise, negative angles are clockwise, and that's just convention. Somebody decided that's how it was gonna be and that's the way we do it now. So um, we're gonna be doing these in degrees, but a lot of the problems in your book, we'll be doing it in radians. We'll kind of look at some problems in radians as well. Um, but let's focus on degrees for today because we're kind of short on time. So when I think about a 120 degree angle in the standard position, 120 degrees, I'm going to think of that as that's 90 plus another 30, correct? So if I start here at zero, remember this is zero on the positive X axis, I would rotate 90. It's positive, so I'm going this way. So that's got me 90 right there. And then I wanna go another 30 after that. So that's gonna be not very far into the second quadrant. That's gonna give me a 120 degree angle. You getting these down? You getting these notes down? Yeah. Okay. So 90 plus another 30 gets us there. 225 degree angle, how are we gonna do this one? That's bigger than 180. So, so I always think about 90, 180 and 270 because that's, those are what are called our cardinal directions. 90, 180 and 270. And then zero, I guess, and 360 would also be. When I think about 225, I think that's a little bit bigger than 180, correct? So it's gonna be 180 plus a little bit more. How much? past 180 is that. That's 45 past 180. So I started 180 and I go 45 past that. That's going to get me to here. This would be my 225 degree angle. So really what I've done is I've started at the positive x-axis. I've rotated around 180 and then another 45 more. Is this looking kind of familiar to you guys? Okay, 315, in terms of 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, what does 315 make you think of? It's a little bit bigger than, it's definitely bigger than 180. It's bigger than 270 too, isn't it? How, how much bigger than 270? So it's 270 plus 45. So when I'm thinking about 315, I'm thinking about going almost, well, going three quarters of the way around the triangle to get to 270. 
and then going another 45 on top of that. So that's where 315 would be. All right. Now, remember, if I go negative angle, which way am I going? I'm going to be going clockwise. So if I started here at zero and I went negative 45, oh my gosh, that gets us to the exact same place. So 315 degrees and negative 45 degrees have the same position on the unit circle. And those are what we call co-terminal angles. Co-terminal angles. So I would like us to come up with some co-terminal angles right now for some other angles. And what's what's the big relationship between co-terminal angles? 315 and negative 45. What's the relationship between? How far apart are they? They're 360 degrees apart. From negative 45 to positive 315 is 360 degrees. And it would have made sense that if I have a spinner and I spin it around and it lands here, and then I add another 360 on top of it, one full revolution that's gonna end up in the exact same spot. What if I were to subtract 360? Is it gonna be back in the same spot again? And if I subtracted or added 360 a whole bunch of times, as long as every time it was exactly 360, we would end up in the same spot, right? So I can take any angle that I want and I can add or subtract 360 as many times as I want to get some coterminal angles. So if we started with these three angles and I were looking for some coterminals, all I'm gonna do is just add and subtract 360. So I'm gonna start at negative 150 in my calculator here. And I'm going to go plus 360. Actually, I'll show you a cool trick. If you do negative 150 and hit enter, and then you do plus 360, then you can just keep hitting enter and it'll keep adding 360 onto it. So negative 150 plus 360 is 210. 210 degrees is coterminal with negative 150. If I were to graph those like we did up here, they would end up in the same spot. Plus another 360 is 570 plus another 360 is 930. And I could keep doing this all day if I wanted to. Would you be able to come up with some negative angles that would work other than negative 150? What am I gonna do this time? Minus 360. So negative 510 would work. Minus 360, negative 870. So I think on last year's test, I gave an angle and I said, come up with two positive and two negative coterminal angles. Would you be comfortable doing that? Do you guys think we need to see another example? Let's do one. Let's do one more. Let's do this uh, 570. Could you guys come up with a couple positive and a couple negative coterminal angles for 570? I'll give you a hint. Negative 570 is not a correct answer. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about this. <laughs> what, we got a little, I can cheat this a little bit, can't, did anybody notice that? I just, it's the same as this, right? 570 was the co-terminal. So we could just, we could just rewrite this whole list, couldn't we? Because they are all co-terminal angles, awesome, okay. You guys want to do some of these with uh, radians and make sure we're good with radians. Oh, don't, 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 don't moan and groan. You got this. Let me show you this and then, okay, five pi over four. Write this down with me, guys. Don't moan and groan. I'm serious. Just, just stick with me. We don't have time for your complaints. Um, instead of adding and subtracting 360, we're going to add and subtract what? Two pi, but I'm not going to write it as two pi because this is over four. I'm gonna write plus or minus two pi as something over four. How many pi's over four is two pi? Right, eight pi over four? 
Same as two pi, agreed. I don't even need a calculator for this. What's five pi over four plus eight pi over four? 13 pi over four. What's another one? Plus another eight pi over four. 21 pi over four. Do you get what we're doing here? I'm just adding two pi, but I wrote it as eight pi over four to make it convenient for the problem at hand. Start back at five pi over four and subtract eight pi over four. What's five pi over four minus eight pi over four? That's us. We're out of here. Negative 11 pi over 4. All right. Uh, hey, I did modify the homework assignment, and I'm going to chop some more off of it because we didn't quite get as far as I hope. But thank you. You guys are awesome. We'll see you on Wednesday.